What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I'm really excited to bring you another advanced course that covers adaptive components in Revit and we're going to be using those adaptive components to create some organic parametric models. So as you can see over here, this is the first kind of simple model that we're going to be creating. And as you can see, it's just a loft out of some certain profiles and those prof profiles are very specific. Why? Well, because we can use those profiles, they're adaptive and they're set up in such a way where we can control the uh, diameter of the profile just by moving this spline. So if I select the spline, move it out a bit, as you can see, this big becomes a bit thicker. If I select this point, move it in a bit, this becomes more narrow. So we're basically controlling the uh, the diameters of these circles just by uh, moving around these uh, points, the spline. And that is achieved by using adaptive components and I've done already one course on adaptive components. This is kind of a second course where it takes it one step further. So we can do some parametric design. And here, as you can see, this is the profile family. It looks really simple, but actually if we select one of these points or this point and move it outward, as you can see, uh, the profile changes. And if we move it inward, the profile becomes smaller. So just by changing the distance from this point to this point, we're uh, allowing uh, for changing changes in this whole loft. Now this is kind of simplified here and used on a really simple example but we can take it even further and do it on a surface. So if I go here on this model as you can see over here we've got this uh, facade that I've created and it's a perforated facade and it has somewhere the openings are larger somewhere they're smaller so it's kind of one of those organic uh, facades. So if we spin around, yeah, that's how it looks like. And as you can see here, I've got two planes uh, next to each other. The, the front one, the facade one is straight and the one behind is kind of wavy. So the reason for that is, as you can see over here, the waves are kind of controlling the openings of this facade. So just how close this uh, the second wavy surface gets to the first flat surface that determines the dimension of these openings and that is uh, achieved just by creating another uh, adaptive component a, a really complex adaptive component so if we go over here this is what we have so this is basically a family that's very versatile so you can even use it on curved surfaces as you can see over here I can kind of play around, uh, move it around a bit and it reshapes accordingly and it can fit pretty much any uh, rectangular pattern. But the real uh, kind of good thing about this family or the its kind of party trick is the fact that here if we use this additional adaptive uh, point that we have created we can change uh, the opening. So if I move it outwards this opening becomes smaller and if I move it kind of inwards it becomes bigger. So this is the parameter that's controlling this here, uh, this here facade openings. And this here we have a reporting parameter, something that uh, very few people know about and it's a cool way that you can kind of use uh, Revit where it reports the parameter and then you can set a formula that controls your family just according to that reporting parameter and that's something that we're going to be exploring within this course. So if you're interested in, in learning about a kind of advanced organic design or advanced organic parametric design by using some of these advanced options in Revit that uh, we have on offer when using adaptive components, well then check out the course. I'm going to be leaving the link to the course in the description of this video and it's on my Patreon where for only $15 a month you'll get access to this course as well as all of my other courses that I've done so far. I think I've got uh, like seven or eight courses so far and also so you will uh, uh, you can you will get access to all other courses that they do in the future and I will be doing one course each week also if you want to get access to exercise files if you subscribe to that $15 a month you get access to all of the exercise files so you can kind of play around yourself or if you subscribe for $5 a month you want to get access to the courses but you will get access to all of the families and projects used as well as uh, all of my other project files like 200 or 300 files so far up on that Patreon. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and hopefully you will check out the course. And I'll see you in a couple of days with another regular Balkan Architect tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.